everyone, welcome to our introduction to border radius or corner radius variables video. So today we're going to look at uh, why mapping uh, different radius values is so important, including some examples as to why that is so, before finally we build out our uh, border radius variables library and learn how to apply them to a simple component. Uh, it's a great lesson today. One thing I would also like to mention is our uh, uicollective.co um, token map is available for free to download, link in the description. With that said, let's get started. So it is my honest opinion that border radius variables and border radiuses as a whole are the most widely misunderstood concept of design and working within design systems. So when mapping uh, my border radius variables, I like to map them as follows. So we have a zero pixel option, a two pixel, a four pixel, and an eight pixel, and then a 50 pixel, which of course is the most more extreme option. And the reason being is this gives me some flexibility as a designer and someone who might be either building components or working with a design system to apply different values um, to different components depending on the size. So let's look at a quick example of this. So here I have four common components that you'll find in just about every single design system. We have a checkbox with a uh, border radius of two, a tag with four, an accordion with eight, and then a radio button, which of course is a more extreme option uh, with 50. So let's look at a quick example as to why um, having some different uh, variable options in your system is so important. So let's bring in the checkbox and let's bring in an accordion. And just for the sake of this exercise, let me just add a quick stroke to our accordion. So when I zoom in, I can see that the curvature of both our checkbox, which again, only has that radius of two, and our accordion, which has a radius of eight, is roughly the same. However, if I uh, adjust the radius of our accordion to match that of our checkbox, look what happens, is now, the radius of our accordion looks more square, and we've almost lost that curvature. So, and then even at a distance, it's very hard to tell that there is even uh, a radius applied at all. So that will cause a lot of inconsistencies in your UI, um, because all of your components are gonna look a little bit different if you only have, let's say, maybe one or two uh, border radius variable options. So that is why it is so important to map your border radius variables correctly. And now that we have that out of the way, let's look at actually building out our variable collection and then applying that to some simple components. So now let's build out our uh, collection for our border radius variables. So I'm going to open up uh, local variables on the right hand side and then let's create a new collection. So, so let me open that back up. Here I have create collection and let's call this uh, border radius. So let's close that here. Then let's simply go down the line. So we have our uh, number, we'll call that a radius uh, dash none, keep that at zero. Let's also add a radius extra small. And the reason why I'm not actually putting that period, I'm putting the dash, is Figma doesn't allow you to put in a period. So we need to change all of our uh, periods to that dash. So radius dot extra small, Set that at two, radius small, that will be our four. Our radius medium, oops, can't type. Oops, definitely can't type, that'll be our eight. And then our uh, radius round, and that will be our 50. So now that we have that collection, let's look at how to apply that collection. So let me just go off to the side here and let's just build a basic button together. So I'm going to take our text tool, let's just call this button, and let's then go ahead and add our auto layout. So right click, add our auto layout. I can see that set to hug and hug, which is perfect. We'll leave the gap and padding as is. Again, this is just a simple exercise. Let's add a fill. We're going to use our surface action one and our text on action. And let's call this button. Treat the component of this. So we've got our simple for testing. And now let's apply our border radius variables. So let's hit our main component. And I can see here we have our corner radius and let's hit this button. 
So I'm going to select that and then change that to, let's say, our radius small. And I can see that when I do that, our radius and our main component adjust to our symbol. And if I'm not working on our main component, I can just adjust our symbol uh, one off without adjusting our main component. However, we also have the option, and again, you'd be surprised at how many designers aren't really familiar with this, to change the uh, corners individually. So say I wanted to set uh, this one to maybe our small and this one to our none, you have that option and that flexibility to do so. So there you have it. You now have your border radius variables mapped, and you now know how to apply them to a simple component.